Guys, this is my fifth update of my Aquion 54 corner tank. A uh, handful of changes has happened uh, since my last video. I um, more on the coral and then the fish. I kind of kind of limit myself on the fish. I uh, want to go over first is my Hawaiian dwarf golden eel. He must have bit onto something that hurt his lower jaw. And then it got infected, and there's a big lesion on his bottom jaw. He was eating with it for a while, and, but however, the last few days, he hasn't ate anything as much as I've been chopping up small pieces to see if he'll take it. But uh, they are known to not go days, even weeks, without eating and still be okay. So I'm not concerned at this point, but I am definitely keeping an eye know close eye on him hopefully he recovers I emailed Bob Fenner from wet web media he mentioned it is common because they have poor eyesight so they said just good quality good nutrition and they usually recover they are hardy they are an eel so they're very hardy fish but um, we'll see uh, you know we'll see what happens and hopefully if I'm in my next video uh, He'll be uh, a better story than he is right now with uh, his jaw or well, the, the lesion or the infection, whatever he has on his jaw. I haven't seen him. He's been hiding in the last half hour. Usually he's popping his head out. My skeletal eel is doing good. He's definitely very active. He's right actually here. He just ate a big piece of... Uh, big piece of... Uh, shrimp that I got from the store so he's probably just trying to breathe heavier because he uh, has he's probably blocking something because he just ate a big piece he was working on it for a little while um, even though I cut a small piece he's just still a small little guy sorry about the focus so we can't get a good focus right now there it is so he's doing good I'm not worried about his breathing right now I think just because he just ate something and uh, you know, he's probably full right now. He's just trying to digest whatever he ate, which was a big, nice piece of uh, raw table shrimp. I moved my uh, brain coral here. It was receding a little bit on the outside for a while now, but I moved them here. It's all puffy because I've just fed the tank krill and uh, squid from the store. My torch that used to be here, believe it or not, died. It was attacked by flatworms from rock that I got from a person who was selling live rock. Unfortunately, uh, these little critters they hide and they put them. You put them in their tank, and all of a sudden they pop out of nowhere. They attacked it, and I kind of removed the whole coral because I didn't want my other coral to get attacked. And I, ever since then, I think I got them all because they were all all the flatworms were all in that one piece, and they were killing the heads. So. Unfortunately, I lost that piece of coral, which was a cool torch. It had about five heads, six heads, and it was doing very good in that spot. My uh, lobo is doing good, and my rose bubble tip and enemy is doing very, very well. I just fed them today as well. The dunking colony here, uh, it stopped receding. It lost its green on its stalk, but uh, the, the heads, the remaining heads here uh, that I snapped off the main stalk because of the necrosis, it seemed to be... Uh, a good move on my part to save the rest of the colony. I also got this thing, it's called like a snake skin uh, enchilada. has like a blue skin, green eyes, pretty cool looking guy. I just got him, he's new. Uh, this total stool's uh, closed up, um, but he's a big one. Um, and uh, he's about to shed his uh, top layer, so. He's been closed up about a day, but it'll open up again. He was doing pretty good over there. I uh, did get more, uh, another uh, A-can here. Um, this is like a red with like orange stripes on there. It's hard to see with this uh, video here. Tail Spot Bunny, of course, is doing well. The Rainbow A-can is doing iffy. It's not as puffy anymore, these two first ones. But, um, so... I'll let you know how that is doing. Uh, Tube Anemone is doing very good. And the meat coral is doing good over here, along with the carpet anemone or the rock anemone. I didn't mean carpet, but rock anemone here, the ultra. He moved over here. 
so you know they move on their own so they pick a spot they like and that's it the unfortunate part of my coral here the Sinara button coral we did get damage on the fleshiness and I moved them over here where there's a little less flow uh, I do again apologize for the uh, zoom in today it's not working as good plus this curve on this tank is it's tough sometimes to get a good angle so he's damaged on the fleshy part not where the mouth is but on the side so I hopefully he recovers I just fed him uh, I hate to lose this guy but somehow he got damaged and and they need to it, it's hard for them to stay healthy when their skin you know the the skeleton showing on the part of their skin on the outside especially if the top part I don't know if you can really see it it's really hard with this, this camera today today so this is called a red velvet fungia plate it actually looks like a volcano if I could get an angle over here real cool piece um, just jumped on them. You don't really see them in this color as often. It's like a deep reddish with a couple blue spots over or mint green spots over there. And uh, it's a real cool piece. So I grabbed him. And this is a tricolor meat coral. I kind of like these corals. He's opened up right now, but uh, he looks real cool when he's closed up. Uh, not with, like opened up with his antenna, you know, his feet or tentacles out, but. I should probably get them in the next video. The uh, walking Duncan coral, um, walking dendro, doing pretty good. Just fed them. Zoa is doing pretty good, and Yasha Gobi is just chilling. Move it over here. The frog spawn is doing pretty good. I moved them over this spot since the last video because all the rock changes I made, and this is a new piece here. This is a uh, dendro colony with the uh, yellow. Uh, he's slowly coming around. They they take a little while. You got to pay a lot of attention to them. Start feeding them, and eventually they'll open up constantly. So as you can see here, it's like halfway trying to open up. So I'll keep a close eye on him and uh, start feeding him a little bit more. Clownfish are doing good like usual. This is a blasto colony. And he's almost done eating his squid I gave him earlier. As you can see, the mouth there is pretty cool. Ultra blasto, four-headed. If I can't focus today at all, this is the camera. Uh, but you can see the mouth on the left side. That's pretty cool. Redax mushrooms doing good over here. Wow, this thing's just not focusing today. And uh, torch coral doing good. War coral here, the other one was getting receding. I just got another one, a little frag. He's more green than red, but you can see the red on there. So let's see how he does. That's a nice bigger frag piece. Of course, the babonis is doing very well. I still have my marine beta. And he's so hard to see because of uh, the darkness, but he, you can see his tails. He hangs out uh, in the holes over there. So you don't really see him during the day. You'll see him very see. He likes to hide a lot, so... But I know he's still alive, and he's eating something, so I had him for a couple of months now. Starfish is doing good. The Linky Starfish is doing good. I did lose my orange tree sponge coral. It receded. It was just dying. They're just tough tough sponges to keep alive. And I just took him out because he was just, just kept him receding and dying. So that's the uh, fortunate loss. Um, took a gamble on him. I had a success with sponge in the past. I still have yellow sponge and blue sponge in this tank. But, again, Linkia starfish, especially the orange and blue, they're very hard to keep alive. And this is going maybe four months, and he's just still moving around and doing very well in this tank. So he's happy where whatever is in this tank, he's feeding on something. Um, still don't know exactly what. But still doing good, and, and that's a good sign because... Uh, they would have perished ready if uh, with this amount of time so there's something in this tank that he's happy about and that, that's good for me it's a good thing it's a cool starfish to have in your tank you know with the colors and everything and one of my big snail here he came out of the ground because he's probably smelled all the squid that was floating around so he's on the hunt he's my big boy he's my uh, huge cleanup crew guy he takes care of everything if there's something dies or anything like that He's willing to clean it up for you. Alright guys, so 
happy reefing. Again, if you have any questions regarding any uh, any stuff that you see here and with my experience, uh, just you know send me an inbox or a comment. Either way, I'll get back to you. And hopefully, uh, you hope you're having a good tank on your end and happy reefing. See you to the next update.